Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state-by-state -state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. Today's missing person cold cases are from the state of Alaska. Our first missing person cold case is Curtis Ayuluk. Curtis's last contact date was either December 13th or December 15th of 2019, and he is listed as missing from Dillingham, Alaska. Curtis is an American Indian or Alaskan Native male, and at the time of his disappearance was 32 years old. His height was 5 feet 7 inches and he weighed approximately 160 pounds. Curtis has black hair and brown eyes but has no known distinctive physical features. The circumstances of Curtis's disappearance are unknown. Some reports state that he was last seen on December 13, 2019 after he visited a patient at the Kanakanak Hospital. Some reports state he was last seen staying overnight at his grandfather's house on December 15, 2019. Either way, Curtis was officially reported missing on December 16, 2019 and has not been seen or heard from since that date. At the time of this video, Curtis would be 35 years old and his physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed since his disappearance. If you have any information on the disappearance of Curtis Ayuluk or any information on his current whereabouts, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269-5511 and reference case number AK1909-1449. Or you can call the Dillingham Police Department at 907-842-5354 and reference case number DP1900436515. Or MP68102. Our next missing person cold case is Marjorie Maldonado. Marjorie's last contact date is September 16, 1993, and is listed as missing from Fairbanks, Alaska. Marjorie is an American Indian or Alaska Native female, and at the time of her disappearance was 38 years old. Marjorie has black hair and brown eyes. Her height was 5 feet 7 inches and she weighed approximately 130 pounds. Marjorie has the distinctive physical features of scars on her left arm, her left leg, left forearm, and right forearm. Marjorie is also known to wear prescription eyeglasses, but it is unknown if she had them with her. The circumstances of Marjorie's disappearance are unknown. She was last seen in downtown Fairbanks, Alaska. Marjorie was seen wearing black stretch pants, a waist-length green jean jacket, a black turtleneck t-shirt, and a long-sleeve crocheted cream-colored tunic blouse over the turtleneck. She was also wearing a wedding band with a diamond in the center. Marjorie's van, a camel-colored 1974 Ford, was found behind a local bar, but no one was inside, and there was no sign of Marjorie. At the time of this video, Marjorie would be 67 years old, and her physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed since her disappearance. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Marjorie Maldonado or information related to her disappearance, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 
2695511 and reference case number 93-60635 or MP24188 or you can call the Alaska State Troopers Missing Person Unit at 907-269-5018. Our last missing person cold case for this week is Magdalena Borkowski Perez. Magdalena's last contact date is listed as July 10, 1988, and she is listed as missing from Anchorage, Alaska. Magdalena is a biracial Hispanic or Latino and white female, and at the time of her disappearance was 33 years old. Magdalena has black wavy hair and brown eyes. Her height is 5 feet 6 inches and she weighs approximately 128 pounds. Magdalena has the distinctive physical features of a reddish birthmark on her right buttock and both of her ears are pierced. Reports differ on when Magdalena was last seen. Some reports state that she was last seen on the evening of July 10, 1988, when she left her residence at approximately 10 p.m. to pick up her four-year-old child at the McDonald's located at 36th and Old Seward. Others state that she was last seen at 3.30 p.m. when a friend left her at the 600 block of West 34th Avenue and she was actually scheduled to pick up her child from her ex-husband at 10 p.m. Either way, at approximately 11 p.m., Magdalena was reported missing as she had failed to arrive at McDonald's to pick up her child. Magdalena was last seen wearing a California Raisins t-shirt, slacks, and possibly a light blue knit blouse and tapered jeans. She was wearing black tennis shoes and carrying a black purse. Magdalena was driving a blue 1985 Plymouth Colt sedan with Alaska license plate BSR308 with a 10-inch scrape on the left rear fender. Her vehicle was later recovered from the third level of the parking garage at Anchorage International Airport. There is no record of Magdalena taking a flight under either of her associated surnames, either Burkowski or Perez. She has not been seen or heard from since that day. At the time of her disappearance, Magdalena was a full-time college student, and investigators believe that foul play was involved in her case. They are investigating her case as a possible homicide. At the time of this video, Magdalena's age would be 68 years old, and her physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed since her disappearance. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Magdalena Borkowski Perez or information related to her disappearance, please contact the Alaska State Troopers at 907-269-5511 and reference case number AK2302282620. Or MP two six four one seven. If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information. Please do not make contact if you see a missing person. The best thing to do is call your local emergency number or, if applicable, one of the numbers in this video. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased.